Hey guys, welcome to another video review. Today I've got the Spyware Terminator 2012, which is an anti spyware application. So it just deals with spyware. It doesn't deal with Trojans, rootkits, nothing of that sort. It's uh, just an anti spyware program. So let's just open up the interface. And there you go, that's their interface. Uh, in fact, they do have antivirus in their premium version, but for that you'll have to buy it. And basically, their antivirus protection is that of FPROD. They use the FPROD scanning engine. So I won't use that, I'll just be testing out their free version. And the interface is pretty simple. You can run your scans, you've got a lot of tools, but I guess you have to download them. All of these, you have to download them to use them. So anyway, I won't be doing any of that. Just uh, check out the updates. See if we've got anything left over. No. So, I mean, that's about it. It's a pretty simple application. Nothing really to mess around with. But I'm not exactly interested in their spyware part because I test all sorts of malware, not just spyware. But actually, this application does come with uh, HIPS, that is Host Intrusion Prevention System. So that's what we're basically going to be interested in. So let's just check out some of their expert settings. And uh, if any click here, you might notice there is no intrusion prevention here. But you have to click here again, Advanced Settings. And then you have the HIPS and by default it comes disabled you'll have to enable it to get the protection so I'm gonna set it to low first and we'll see how it performs uh, from what I guess this application is either gonna block everything or not gonna block anything at all I mean it's that sort of uh, intrusion prevention because it doesn't appear to have any sort of whitelist or anything like that to prevent it from blocking safe applications. So let's try this out. It's on low. Now let's just try to open Hitman Pro. And let's see if it, if it asks us any questions, if it blocks it or not. So this was not blocked. That's good. Now let's try out uh, something like CCleaner. Okay, so it asks us to switch to install mode. Yeah, it appears to be running just fine, so so far no problems. Let's try Norton Power Eraser. And this seems to have opened uh, fine enough as well. So right now it's letting everything go through. I'm not saying everything, I haven't tried any malware yet. But so far, no problems running the legit programs. So that's fine enough. So now, I've got a folder of malware containing our regular SCAD-174, but no point of scanning it or anything, because it's not going to get most of these, because these are basically Trojan, Sadware, stuff like that. Uh, might be one or two pieces of spyware here, but I don't know. So let's try running some of these and see if uh, we get any alerts from Spyware Terminator. I've turned on their hips, so if anything's like that, it should notify us. First one doesn't seem to have any problems running. Yep, that got straight through. Okay, suspicious behavior. First attempt to start a process was detected. Now, I'm sure I'll, I'm going to get this alert uh, with a lot of applications because a lot of applications start different processes. But this time I'm going to deny this. Okay, so as it didn't ask me too many questions with the legitimate files, I guess I'm just going to deny anything that it says. This one again, 
not sure if that one ran or if it got blocked or anything. Now here I think we have some adware. Okay. So it has blocked some things here. So, so far it's uh, not doing that bad. Now this is annoying. Guess I'll have to get rid of that. Too easy there. Let's try this one out. This one's also an installer. Remember we got an alert that an installation has been detected and we get the same alert again. So I'm not very sure what exactly is happening here. If it led that through or if it partially blocked it probably hasn't done anything at all so far so so far it's done I think fairly well but I'm sure there's a lot of stuff running in memory maybe not that sure because I didn't see a lot of stuff get through but there you go we can see at least three here let's see what they're able to do now they have got to memory but maybe they're not being allowed to do any damage so we'll find that out only if we reboot the system let's open up the interface again now let's uh, try to move into the advanced mode see what else we get Okay, something else is starting here. Let me just go into settings. Okay, there you go. I'm going to set it to high now and let's uh, try running a couple of uh, more malware see how it responds now that's probably gonna ask even more questions okay now that's not good uh, it's uh, taken over my screen but yeah that was about it didn't do much so let's try out something else Okay, went straight through. Remember, we are in advanced mode now. Again, it's going to detect the installation. It's probably not telling me anything because it's already blocking these. So I'll have to try something new, like this maybe. Okay, again. It's gonna block all of these stuff because I've actually stepped up the protection. So let's see if we get the same alerts when we try run something like, let's say, Process Explorer. Okay, I accept. And let's see if Spyware Terminator gets in the way there. in fact it didn't so that's not that bad but I'm sure if we try to terminate something here like uh, let's try to terminate this no in fact that was terminated just fine 
So in fact, uh, Spyware Terminator is not doing that bad. In fact, it's doing pretty well so far. It's blocked a lot of malware and it has not, you know, uh, stopped the system from running. So it's not like uh, the ESET uh, intrusion prevention that just blocks everything. So although it doesn't have a whitelist, it's actually doing some analysis before giving its alerts. So it's not like it's just blocking or allowing everything. So that's not that bad. So now we'll just reboot and we'll see what infections we got. So I guess I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so I'm back up and running and I've just opened up Cross Explorer. And as you can see, we have got some malware here and there that's running. Uh, there's one. And I'm sure I saw something else here. In fact, maybe not. So at least uh, this one thing's here, then maybe a couple more, I'm not very sure. But at least we've got one thing running in memory here. So anyway, Spyware Terminator did its job. Uh, I just shut down Spyware Terminator so that we can run our scans properly. So now first of all, I'm gonna run uh, Trend Micro House Call. In case you guys don't know, it's uh, another free removal tool. This is from Trend Micro. So we'll see how this does. So this will also be kind of like a review on this application. Take a look at it, uh, how it does in cleaning the system. Because at least we've got one memory process here. Uh, I'll just keep the review interesting because uh, I haven't gotten links today or not a lot of malware so I hope this will keep it interesting. So I guess I'll just be back when it's done the update. Okay so Trend Micro House Call finished its update. Let's see what they've got here. Pretty simple interface. I'll hit settings and by default it does a pretty quick scan and it does have smart feedback I don't know okay so it just sends uh, information to trend micro nothing much so I'll hit scan now nothing much to do here so I guess I'll see how long this takes and I'll be back when this is done welcome back everybody it was kind of like a sluggish scan should I say took about 16 minutes uh, not that fast now interestingly the only thread that has been found is a variant of Solidity which is a virus a patching virus so basically it doesn't uh, give you a lot of options here it just tells you whether to fix it or ignore it I'm just gonna hit fix and let's see if it deletes the file or if it's uh, you know okay it fixed the threat now if I hit more details it just says the virus has been fixed and I have an option restore it so basically this is kind of like quarantine so no better it doesn't have any disinfect feature so according to trend micro the computer is clean However, in the quick scan, it's surprising that it didn't scan this folder of malware that was situated right at my desktop. So anyway, that's that. I'll just uh, remove it. And now I'll do a scan with, let's say, um, Hitman Pro. So I'll be back uh, when, with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro found, uh, let's say, five things here. So, let's see what they are. It's uh, got a Trojan in Users folder, another Trojan, another Trojan, another Trojan, and a piece of malware. This is just in temp file, so we'll ignore it. Now, this is a Trojan Win32 injector. Heard a lot of it in recent days. Then the next one's another Win32 injector. 
and we've got to crypt Trojans. So system wasn't clean after all. Whoops. So yeah, I guess I'll have to run Malwarebytes now and uh, hopefully we'll be able to remember what was caught by Hitman Pro. So I'll just run Malwarebytes right now. I think I had it installed. No? So yeah, I'll just install it and I'll run a scan and I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Malwarebytes found four things and they're all the ones that were caught by Hitman Pro. Anyway, we'll just remove them. In fact, Spyware Terminator didn't do as bad as uh, some of you may think. Remember, it's uh, not a full security suite. It's uh, just, uh, you know, a HIPS application. It doesn't have any signatures, anything else other than the intrusion prevention. So it's not that bad. I mean, we tried quite a lot of links and uh, you just wanted to do to block some of the ones that your antivirus misses because you're going to have to use another antivirus software alongside this so you know for an alongside job it didn't do that bad so I guess that's about it something that did worse I think was trend micro house call because uh, it didn't find any of these major infections that you can see pretty clearly was detected by both malwarebytes and hitman pro it didn't get any of those so I think Trend Micro House Call still has a lot of work. I mean, it's not a great removal utility because you saw it took quite a while to scan. And when you do such a long scan and you don't find much, that's really irritating. So anyway, uh, Spyware Terminator, I think, is pretty decent application. You can run it alongside your antivirus product and try it out uh, and see how many alerts and stuff you get. If you think it's good for you, you might keep it. So not that bad, but certainly a lot of room for improvements. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Have a good day.